So what is a sieve? In general, it's three things. It's skins, it's a core, it's laminated together. It's not really strong before it gets laminated, but once you laminate it, it becomes very rigid. The, um, the components uh, in various orders of the facings, OSB is the predominant one. It is the ubiquitous SIP within the industry. Makes up about 98, 99% of all of the true SIPs that are sold in the industry. But we can make it with different skins. Uh, we can use metal, we can use concrete. Magnesium oxide is uh, making a good headway into the industry, as well as composites. One of the new areas where if we want to become an innovator, we can think about how we can use composites to make structural insulated panels as well. The rigid foam is predominantly expanded polystyrene, EPS, closed cell foam. Also used in there is XPS, the extruded polystyrene, also known as, you know, styrofoam or the red or the what are we, blue, yellow, green Pink. extruded boards, right? <laughs> also urethane. Urethane is used, uh, it's a poured polyurethane, not sprayed. It's going to be a poured polyurethane to fill the void and create the core. And then the structural adhesives that are used are no different than the adhesives that we're all pretty familiar with that are used in LSL, glue lambs, uh, eye joists. Um, typically it's a moisture cured urethane adhesive uh, which binds it all together, it goes into a press and, and I'll show you some other photos of that shortly.